Hey guys and welcome back to another video. How are you today? It's a great day, right? Today I'm going to be doing something similar to the previous video and that was photos 80D, 60 Today I'm going to be comparing video. So, as you can see, we are on manual, fully manual. Now, I'm looking at the 6D right now, this is the video from the 6D, and down here you're going to have written always which camera the video is coming from. Now, we are on the speed of 1000, aperture of 5.6, and an ISO of 100 on both cameras. Now, let me just say at the beginning, the 6D Mark II is full frame, with a full frame lens, and the 80D is not full frame, and is has a lens that's not full frame as well. Both have wide angle lenses. Now, as you can see me side by side, now in the video, it's always marked, one is cropped, whereas the other is full frame. That's the difference between full frame and cropped. As you can see them side by side, you can kind of tell the different colors. On the 6D, we are over, let's say I would say that the speed is too high, we're kind of over, it's kind of too much light there. Whereas on the ATD, we are great light, great speed, everything is like set how I would usually have the camera. All right, so I am going to go up with the speed on the 6D because I feel like there's too much light. So I went to 1600 and as you can see, if you see them side by side, they seem to be almost on the exact same kind of color. And if I'm looking in the viewfinders there, almost the same. So that's probably how equivalent they are. So you can be on a higher speed on the 6D and on the 80D you have to have a lower speed because it needs more light. But that also can be due to the lens and the camera itself, of course, since we're comparing two different cameras with two different lenses, not the same lens. But that's maybe some discrepancy that we have. Now, to speak about the lenses, since we have some discrepancies, I have a Canon 16 to 35 millimeters uh, four aperture lens. So it is a very good lens with a very low aperture and a fixed aperture. So that's also one thing to keep in mind. Whereas on the ATD, I have a Canon 10 to 18, 4.5 to 5.6. And since I'm on 16 millimeters now on it, we are close to the top of the aperture. So we are at 5.6. So basically that's like a difference that we have is the light level. If I would put the same lenses, maybe the outcome would be a little bit different, but that's what we have. So as you can see now on the ATD, I changed the lens. So I changed it to a full frame lens, which is the Canon EF 28 to 105 millimeters at an aperture of 3.5 to 4.5. Now I am at 4.5 on the ATD and at 4.5 on the 6D. The 6D did not change lenses. Now what just changed that we are on a focal length of 35 on both cameras. The thing you can see that when you see them side by side is the ATD is way more zoomed in than the 6D. That's as well due to the full frame of the 6D and the not full frame of the 80D. So that's the big difference here. Now let me talk about the speed, which is also a very big kind of problem here. Now on the 80D, we have a lower speed than on the 6D. The 80D has a speed of 800 because it needs way more light to have the optimal exposure. Now the 6D Mark II has a speed that's higher than the ATDs, it's at 1250. It needs less light to have the optimal exposure. Now this can also be due to the cameras or the lenses or both at the same time and they're not the same cameras with not the same lenses. So there can be some discrepancies. Now keep in mind also that this video is not color corrected and has an ISO of 100 on both cameras. When I'm looking in the viewfinder, I see that the 6D Mark II looks a little bit better than the 80D and as maybe due to also that it's more zoomed in, but that's pretty much it. So this is everything I'll say to this. If you have any other questions or any other requests, leave them down in the comment section down below or leave a like and subscribe will be greatly appreciated for more videos like this. All right, take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.